The Civil War of 1857 brought the end of Muslim dominance in Indian subcontinent. The British were hailed as the winners by the Hindus and both joined their hands in a bloody crusade against the lost Muslims. Marked by the atrocities of the new rulers, this era was labeled as the Dark Age of Indian Muslims. For nearly 40 years, they remained disoriented, confused and kept floating in a river of despair until came the Sayyid Ahmed Khan. Sir Sayyid worked against all the odds and tried to break the dormancy of Indian Muslims. The misery of Muslims didn't stop as Sir Sayyid passed away in 1898. A talk of independence started somewhere in a corner of subcontinent after 50 years. With no foreseeable future, the Muslims and Hindus joined hands in drive that aimed at getting independence from British. It was not late when Muslims realized that independence of subcontinent as a single country would be far more worse than it was now. The love Hindus showed for Muslims was temporary and was meant for nothing else but to get India as a single unit where Hindus would rule. This thought of Muslims led to the partition of Bengal in 1905. Muslims were glad but the Hindus opposed and retaliated furiously. Indian Muslims now needed a pole star, a single focal point whose bright light would illuminate the dark storm flashing the horizon to the future of Indian Muslims. Muslim leadership responded optimally and laid foundation of All India Muslim League in 1906. Muslim League was aimed to protect political rights of Muslims as well as to foster a sense of loyalty towards the government. 1913, an auspicious time when Qaidazam Muhammad Ali Jinnah joined Muslim League and gave new hopes. The efforts bore fruit in the form of Lucknow Pact in 1916. The friendly atmosphere created by the pact soon waned out as the extremist Hindu element took over the Congress. The next 20 years passed in no time but were full of chaos and turbulence. The tension between Hindus and Muslims kept on rising. In 1928, Congress under Nehru framed the infamous Nehru Report that rejected separate electorate for Muslims and was countered by Jinnah's 14 points that came in the next year. Khutbah al strengthened the opinion of Muslims as Allama Muhammad Iqbal in 1930 put forward the demand for a separate Muslim homeland in front of crowd that consisted Muslims from all over the India. British invited Indian leaders for a discussion on the future constitution of India in the form of round table conference. Three sessions of this meeting were held from 1930 to 1932 but both the major parties disagreed. From 1937 to 1939, Congress ruled India as it won a great victory in general elections of 1937. Muslim League lost as many Muslims opposed it. Oppressed and crushed by the Hindus, the Muslims soon realized their mistake. Creation for a separate Muslim homeland was now inevitable. The Lahore Resolution 1940 showed the power of Muslims, where a mighty crowd of millions vowed to stand with Muslim League. Following the World War I, the British lost its leading position as a world power that it had for centuries. It was clear now that the British are to leave India soon and the future of Indian Muslims now solely depends on Muslim League. Congress wanted a single India but Muslim League demanded a separate country. It was the time when Qaeda Azam commanded Muslims with his uncanny skills and effort to start a political war against Congress. Supported by Maulana Muhammad Ali Shokat, Maulana Zafar Ali Khan, Nawab Abdul Rab Nishtar, Liaqat Ali Khan and other great Muslim leaders, he shaped the minds of Muslims for a new land, land meant for Muslims only. All India elections were to be held in 1946 again. The Muslim League were to prove its stance to of separate Muslim state, it had to win the election of all posts. Muslims started a campaign that reached all over the India. Slogans like Pakistan ka matlab kya, la ilaha illallah were chanted by each and every Muslim of every age. The result came and Muslims won in all Muslim majority areas. This was a great victory. The election result strengthened the stance of Muslim League. This was the last nail in coffin as Muslims moved further close to their target. 14 August 1947. The time came. A country that never existed emerged on the map of the world. Pakistan was created, the dream of Iqbal was fulfilled, Muslims began to migrate into a new state, a state of their own, where all their dreams would be fulfilled. The cost of Pakistan was heavy, it cost blood, sweat and tiresome efforts of our ancestors. The founders of this country are dead, but the nation they have brought into existence still lives as today marks the 74th birthday of this Nobel and Nobel land and hopes to live a life of honor and strength. 
it is the foundation of free islamic republic of pakistan which we have become so accustomed to it is our duty as citizens to know it understand it nurture it defend it and it is our duty to remember it so we can build a pakistan of our dreams